Okay, here we are, 4th of July, playing, trying a new recipe. So I've got a whole bunch of sharp cheddar cheese, shredded, and I put in um, just a splattering of mustard and a splattering of Worcestershire sauce and a splattering of mayonnaise. We're talking like teaspoon, tablespoon, whatever. I just squeezed a little squeeze. That's a lot of splattering. That's a lot of splattering. And then this is some boxwood basil on top from our garden that we dried last year, but um, that's the end of it. Don't have any more of that, unfortunately. I have to check the garden. Something's growing out there. Um, I put some uh, cumin in there because cumin's my fave for its spice. And I chopped up a little bit of onion. Oh, and I'm going to put one egg yolk in there and some pepper. And then I'm going to stir it. Hubby is over here uh, just buttering up some bread. Do you want more butter? No, that's good for right now. Okay. And we have the uh, toaster oven on broil. Okay, so I've uh, got my egg yolk and my pepper in here too. And I kind of tasted it. And I decided I didn't have enough cumin. I love cumin. I'm going to put some more in here. And I have found while I'm playing that um, I had to get my hands dirty. <laughs> Getting my hands dirty was the easiest way to do this. So it's kind of fun. And uh, just taste test it. See, don't, don't get me dirty. Okay, oh, that's better. So keep taste testing it and put the flavor profile. Ha -ha. I feel like I'm on one of those uh, fancy cooking shows. They all have flavor profiles. The flavor profile that best suits your taste buds. And over here, let's go this way, show the toaster oven. Our toaster oven, the buttered toast, get down the deer so we can see, is now toasting in the broiler. And when that's done, toasting in the broiler, we're going to put it on our cookie sheet up here, dear. We're going to put it on our cookie sheet here, and we're going to spread it with the cheese. Okay, you're live. Oh, I'm live. Okay, so here we are. I found I had to uh, flip my uh, toast uh, because it was only getting uh, toasty on the bottom. So it toasted both sides. And then I spread the stuff on here. I found just, you know grabbing it with my fingers and plopping it on there and making it plenty was good. And then over here we have been preparing our drinks. We always have to have drinks with our food. And scan down. They are our patriotic frozen drinks. Woohoo! They're blue and red for the holiday. And, you know, the holiday with the cheese thing over here. You know, holidays... You don't count calories on holidays, so you're, just eat this on a holiday. Totally ignore And our drinks are um, dailies over there. You see the dailies? Got it on the video. And if you don't have dailies, you must try dailies. It has some alcohol in it, but it's so small, I don't even taste or feel the hot, the, uh, alcohol. excuse me, the alcohol. We have Bahama Mama. I believe you. <laughs> it's just fun to, to say, and Blue Hawaiian. To also make fun to say. our red and blue patriotic drinks. They actually have a, like a coconut flavored one that's white. And we could have made it three colors, but we'd already drank it. Not so bad. here we go. We're putting this in here to bake until it's bubbly. Let the bubbling begin. Sure. Okay, here we are working our way through our drinks. And let me tell you, I have learned that things, that life is about the simple things. And we bought these glasses that are actually like beer glasses. And we use them for everything. And it's so much fun to be drinking out of different types of glasses. So a uh, small investment, like 10 bucks on glasses. And then these straws are plastic and we have had them forever. We have a whole bunch of them. We use them all the time so we can scoop up our drink. This one happens to be green and white. We have them in a bunch of different colors. And, mmm. Snack, this 
Snack up champions. The straws and the uh, glasses. Just change them up. It's a must. We got some bread ready to go. This, if I don't use it all, which I doubt it, I'm going to actually just put it in a baggie and stick it in the refrigerator for the next time. And here is our wee, gooey, yummy, any more adjectives here? Darn tasty. Darn tasty. We, don't, we hope. It smells the whole house up good. Oh, <gasps> There you go. That smells the whole house up good. I it Bread. Look at how yummy, yummy, yummy that looks. You want to okay, close that up for me, high. dear? That's a happy unit, isn't it? It says hi. <laughs> so, it looks yummy and toasty and cheesy, bubbly, good. I, Who's going to try it first? I taste test it for you all. Yeah, taste test it and tell us. Is it going to be too hot? It probably is. Ooh, it's crunchy. I love crunchy. Is it okay if I scream in the video? I think it's a little warm to taste it. I can't it. touch it and I want it. I've said that many times myself. Give me a plate. Okay, for only a dollar. So that kinda... they'll start cooling off the plate. Oh, I see. Is that how it works? Yeah. Ooh. That must have been heavy. Oh, they even look better on a white plate. Ah! Yeah, background is everything. We really want to taste plate. it on the video to tell you how yummy they are. Well, they can actually taste <laughs> it. They, they can taste it on the video. Even, I don't even. Like, I'm impressed with these people. You ever eat this stuff? This stuff's like good. Yeah, if you can get it. It's off like. This. It's like that part of the actual laced bread. Laced cheese that you can make. Mm. Yeah. Even this stuff is good. Yeah. See? Oh, man. And I love this stuff. I don't know why. Now with this. Ever just, I have done this before, too. Just plopped shredded cheese on a... I have plopped myself a few times. Okay, he took mine that I was going to eat. Anyway, yeah, this stuff is good. For... I've plopped shredded cheese on a... Play it tray and put it in there and broiled it. See, it's delicious. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Is it really, really good? Welcome to my face. Shall I film mm -hmm. your face? Mm -hmm. Just, just. Oh, he doesn't want his face filmed. No, thank you, Vera. Mm -hmm. Okay, I get to try one. This. We don't want to frighten people with my face. It's holiday fun. This is like Saturday fun, even. Mm. On a Monday thing, I don't know. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I like it. Crunchy it's good. and ooey. And warm. This is good. I hope so. I'm eating it. We've never made this before. That's delicious. Kids, you gotta try it. That's all I can tell you. Yeah. Get, get your own uh, reveal, whatever brand, brand you want, and toast it up. Or, you know, if whatever. you don't have a toaster oven, just put it in a broiler or a really hot oven. There you go. Use a big oven. Mm. That's delicious. Wow, this is good. Yeah, and if you're up north, this warms everything up. Okay, this one's a winner. Mm. Make sure you do your own flavor profiles. Like, you know, we have the boxwood basil from our garden, mm -hmm. but I might try something different next time. Yeah. A different... Uh, Mix. If you need me, I'll be over here making my face happy. I like cilantro. Mm. You might try cilantro next time. Fine. Um, I don't think the Italian parsley would do too much. Eh, that might be fun sprinkled on top before I don't know. you broil it. Oh, I will not find out. Mm. I've got sage from the garden. Maybe I'll try I that. I've got sage. You believe me, don't you? Mm hmm. This is yeah, good. Then. I can't stop eating it. I will have to at some point because we'll run out. Well, I have to stop the video. Wow. Well, you're in charge of that. I'm in I'm, charge of eating. I can't stop it if my fingers are too busy eating. Mm. Ah, time for a drink.